Welcome back, my friends. Today, we will talk about a broad subject in cybersecurity. Breaking into the field of cybersecurity can seem daunting, but with a structured roadmap, it becomes an achievable goal. Today, I will lay down an example plan you can follow to get started in cybersecurity. It's tremendously important to follow a structured plan if you want a solid career in cybersecurity. Let's get started. Let's discuss the first step to get into cybersecurity. Some of you may say the first step is getting a college degree in computer science or information technology. While this is not wrong, there is a more accurate and specific description of the first step to get into cybersecurity. Before diving into technical skills, familiarize yourself with the fundamentals of cybersecurity. Understand what is cybersecurity and its importance, type of threats, key concepts such as CIA triad and security frameworks and compliance. These concepts should be on the top of the list before learning any technical skills like programming or networking. All right, next step is a deep understanding of IT concepts. Strengthen your knowledge in TCP, IP, DNS, VPNs, firewalls, and proxies. Study network protocols and packet analysis tools like Wireshark. Part of building a strong foundation in IT is having an expertise in Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Try to get familiar with command line interfaces, especially in Linux operating system. In cybersecurity, you will often be working with command line tools in Linux, so having a basic understanding of command line tools in Linux is of utmost importance. Another aspect of building a strong IT foundation is programming. Start with scripting languages like Python, Bash, or PowerShell, and then move on to other languages such as Java, PHP, and C. You don't need to be fluent in every single language. However, you will need the minimum, which is the ability of reading and understanding any written code in these languages and analyze its behavior. Now that you have built strong foundation in information technology and grasped the basics of cybersecurity concepts, it's time now to start thinking of what area of cybersecurity you want to specialize in. In cybersecurity, you can specialize in offensive security or penetration testing. Another area in cybersecurity is blue teaming and security operations center. Compliance and auditing is also another domain in cybersecurity where you audit security practices and benchmark them to standard global practices such as ISO 27001 or COBIT. Lastly, we got the computer and digital forensics. As you can see, cybersecurity is a broad domain and to build a solid career, you have to decide and select which domain you want to focus on. Of course, many professionals shift from blue teaming into compliance and auditing and some transition from penetration testing into management. All right, let's assume you want to start in penetration testing. In penetration testing, you attack systems and network to test its security defenses, and eventually you hand over the report to your client, demonstrating what method you followed, what vulnerabilities you discovered, the level of access you achieved, standard user or route, and lastly, some recommendations on security mitigations. You can gradually build experience in attacking systems by doing exercises created specifically for that purpose. Vulnerable machines available for such practices in websites such as Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, and Over the Wire. You can also build a home lab with virtual machines and tools like Kali Linux and Metasploitable. When you are ready to prove your knowledge, I suggest you prepare for certifications such as EJPT, TCM, Security PNPT, CompTIA Pentest Plus, OSCP, and Hack the Box CPTS. Check out the description for videos comparing these certifications. Perfect, what about blue teaming then? Well, in blue teaming, the path is different than penetration testing. In blue teaming, aim to understand security operations, incident response, identity and access management, malware analysis, and on a more advanced level, reverse engineering. Understanding tools such as Splunk, Elka Stack, Nessus, OpenVAS, and of course Snort IDS is also a must in blue teaming. You can check out TryHackMe's SOC tracks, as those are very helpful to get you started. Also check out Hack the Box Sherlock's challenges and Let's Defend as well. When you are ready to prove your knowledge, you can start preparing for credentials such as CompTIA, CISA+, BTL1, and BTL2, Hack the Box CDSA, and of course, Certified Cyber Defender. Check out the description of this video for comparison of these certifications. Most professionals in cybersecurity start either as penetration testers or blue teamers. Later on, you may start planning to move into a managerial position. Management in cybersecurity involves managing teams, 
meeting business expectations, assessing the overall risk of the cyber threats on the organization, and of course, meeting compliance obligations. Getting into management is a matter of amassing technical expertise and having the ability to lead teams and understand the business needs of your organization. Certifications such as CSSP and CISM are great additions to speed up your transition into management. So you think this is the end of it? Then you are wrong. Staying up to date and following latest news are important aspects of keeping your knowledge updated in this ever-changing landscape. There are many other resources you can use to learn and keep learning. Course sites such as Udemy, Pluralsight and Coursera are very useful and contain a lot of courses to teach different aspects of cybersecurity. You can also join professional groups like ISICA, ISA or local meetups and attend cybersecurity conferences such as DEFCON and Black Hat. But that's not all. In cybersecurity, you can become a contractor or a freelancer. Consulting in cybersecurity is becoming widely known, especially if you have the expertise and necessary connections to sell your skills to potential clients. I recommend you to check out DC CyberSec channel for tips on how to start freelancing in cybersecurity. All right, so that was it. I tried my best to make this video as brief as possible so that you get the full idea without too much distractions and stuffed content. Thank you.